Russian President Vladimir Putin held talks with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at Putin's summer residence in the coastal town of Sochi. The talks focus primarily on Syria. The two leaders agreed that if the Syrian conflict continues for much longer, it might have disastrous consequences for the country and the whole region. Only a quick cessation of hostilities and violence and a political settlement can prevent a negative scenario in Syria. During this responsible period, it is particularly important to avoid any actions that could destabilize and aggravate the situation in Syria. Vladimir Putin said that he and the Israeli Prime Minister agreed to continue keeping in contact on a personal level and between Russian and Israeli special agencies over regulation of the situation in Syria. Russia says it is really concerned by Israeli airstrikes on targets inside Syria. A Russian president and the Israeli Prime Minister were expected to talk over Russia's reported shipments of Russian weapons to Syria, including S-300 missiles, which Israel is unhappy about. Last week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Moscow was not violating any international sanctions, had no plans to sign new arms deals and would only honor contracts already signed with Syria, neither denying nor confirming reports that it was preparing to sell Damascus S-300 air defense systems. Neither Putin nor Netanyahu mentioned the missiles in their comments following talks in Sochi. However, Russian president's spokesman later said that they did in fact discuss S-300s. The spokesman said that Russia's position was well known and that Israel heard Russia's argument over the issue. We had very thorough and deep discussion about the situation in our region. The region around us is very unstable and explosive. The Israeli PM's visit comes on the back of the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's recent visit to Moscow, during which he and his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, pushed for an international conference on Syria and emphasized commitment to the Geneva Communique. The U.K. Prime Minister David Cameron also held talks with Putin in Russia on Friday last week, agreeing to work with Russia to bring the conflict in Syria to an end. Julia Lubova, Press TV, Moscow.